the year 2024 has arrived. Last year was an interesting time in the field of 3D graphics. In particular, 3D caution splatting technology started to take off, and new research and development work in its field is constantly being published. But where is this development going, and what should we pay attention to? I collected five interesting things. Hello boys and girls, it's only here again. As said, the year has changed and I thought now would be again a good time to review where we are going with 3D Gaussian splatting technology. I went through a few new tools and apps, and although many of them were already developed in last year, I thought I'd give a quick summary of them now because they are very interesting cases and that we should be following their development on this year. So let's start going through the list. First, I would like to highlight a new plugin which has been developed again for the Unreal Game Engine platform. It is called Xverse 3DGS and it is developed by Chinese coders from Xverse Technologies. At a glance, it doesn't make much of a difference to previous Gaussian plugins that have already been developed for Unreal before this. This one works in the same way, utilizing Niagara particles, like previous plugins developed by Luma AI or the Japanese Akia Research Institute. But what makes this Xverse plugin interesting is that through it you can now create and train your own Gaussian splatting models on your own computer directly from Unreal Engine. For that, you need to download separate Xverse tool package, which contains all the scripts and workflows for making Gaussian models. With a tool extension installed, the model can be generated through the Xverse plugin in Unreal from the MP4 video file. However, I noticed that you still need the correct version of CUDA to make this work. CUDA version 11.8 seems to work best with this plugin. The just released new CUDA version 12 is still too new and prevents the training phase from happening. So keep this in mind if you want to try this feature. Although the local training with the Xverse tool is very, very slow and requires a lot of VRAM memory and power from your RTX graphics card, this concept where you can create 3D Gaussian splatting models directly from the game engine is an interesting idea and it should be one way to produce Gaussian models in the future. Processing and calculating models on your own computer is in some cases a more convenient way to implement personal models than sending the data to third-party cloud services. Xverse Gaussian Splatting plugin and Xverse tool application are free and you can find them on GitHub. Next, we will look at the old familiar 3D Presso service. I made a few videos last year that introduced this Korean online service, and at that time, 3D Presso offered conversions from video to 3D using Nerf technology. Now, their services has also adapted the Gaussian splatting technology and is able to offer 3D models generated from videos on their website. The quality of the Gaussian splatting models does not really differ from what we are used to seeing in the services of Polycam or Luma AI, but 3D Presso is a good extension to the group of sites that offers these processing services. In addition, 3D Presso is developing other interesting AI applications that produce 3D models. Recon Labs, the company behind the service, is interesting and I think it's worth following their work and publications in this ongoing year. 3D Presso uses the credit-based Beam system in their model generation services. 
Every new user gets 30 beans for free, with which you can try what kind of a 3D models it can produce from your videos. The service can be found at the web address 3dpresso.ai. On number 3, I would like to introduce a web-based 3D design tool called Spline. Spline is a nice and easy to use 3D application that offers many possibilities to produce interactive 3D user interfaces and views that you can easily embed and use on different websites. And now Spline has also brought Gaussian splatting models into this environment. You can easily import a Gaussian point cloud and combine it with other 3D primitives and objects. The editing tools allows you to cut and crop the Gaussian point cloud in the spline editor. And with the help of the interactive functions, it is relatively easy to build your own web-based viewers, with which you can rotate and scale your Gaussian models. With the development of WebGL and JavaScript libraries like 3JS, it is very exciting to see where the use of 3D graphics in the web browser will develop and what its use will be capable of in the future. Spline relies on these technologies and its latest AI addition make it very interesting 3D service. Especially the latest announcements which Spline creators have made and which are aimed at creating 3D user interfaces and various mobile applications are fascinating. This may be something that we will see in Apple's upcoming Vision Pro virtual headset in the future. So for that reason alone it is good to follow what will happen in Spline development in 2024. Spline online services can be found at the web address spline.design. It is free to use, but if you want to take advantage of all its features, I recommend looking at the pricing options. And now that we started talking about virtual reality, as number four I'd like to highlight an application called Gracia. It is a VR viewer that lets you easily experience Gaussian splatting models in virtual reality. Gracia works best when you download it onto your computer and start it with virtual headset. It works with every headset vendor that provides OpenXR compatible runtime. The VR device must therefore be connected to your computer with the cable. It might work as well with the Airlink wireless connection, but Gracia does not support standalone headset yet. The application has few ready-made Gaussian splatting models in its library, but the application becomes more interesting when you upload your own PLY files into it. From the beginning Gaussian splatting and virtual reality have been, in my opinion, the killer feature where this new 3D technology could flourish and take the VR to the next level. But is it what we have been waiting for? How do Gaussian point cloud work in VR? I had the chance to test functionalities of this on Oculus Quest 2 and it seems like decent experience. Of course, moving and scaling the model with virtual controls took some time to getting used to, but it was all in all interesting. Probably this would work better with Pro classes or with the latest Oculus 3 goggles and with the more powerful computer, but the experience was promising even though. I'm not a big fan of VR headsets that have to be connected to the computer with the cable. Gracia is an opening in the right direction through the accessibility of Gaussian splatting environments in VR devices. Gracia is free and the application can be downloaded for Windows systems from gracia.ai. And then with number 5 I want to introduce a Chinese 3D scanning application called Kiri Engine. 
Kiri has developed its function and 3D scanning methods recently and it is comparable to the Polycam service. Its core is in a mobile application that works on both Android and Apple's iOS systems. In addition to this, the service can also be used in a web browser. Most recently, 3D Gaussian splatting features have also been added to Giri Engine. But what makes this scanning service special is that unlike Luma AI or Polycam, in Giri Engine you can now edit your Gaussian scans. And it works on mobile. This is probably the first application where the Gaussian point cloud can be trimmed and cropped directly with the smartphone. A relatively easy to use user interface has been built into Curie Engine app with which you can control the cropping area or even use the brush tool to remove Gaussian points. In addition to the Gaussian splatting features, Kiri Engine also offers traditional photogrammetry scanning methods that utilize the smarter devices, LiDAR scanner and camera. I recommend trying Kiri Engine. Its full features can be used for a suitable monthly fee. The application can be found in Apple's App Store and Google's Play Store and online at giriengine.app. Well, here it was. Here were the five different applications or services, each of which develops the Gaussian splatting techniques and are, in my opinion, worth following this year. Have you came across any interesting application that utilize Gaussian splatting technology? Leave a comment in below and don't forget to also watch my previous video on this topic where I went through six different tools that you can use to edit Gaussian models. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will continue editing the point clouds. Thanks for watching.